Hello, I'm Calandra Green, Public Health Nursing Administrator at Oakland County Health Division. I'm here today to provide a COVID-19 update and to talk to some of our nurses in recognition of School Nurses Day. First, an update on COVID-19 vaccine efforts. The state's COVID-19 vaccine dashboard reports over just 1.1 million doses given to Oakland County residents. As a reminder, all Michigan residents at 16 and over are eligible for the vaccine. Last week, our website was changed to now allow you to directly schedule an appointment at our vaccine clinics. We have a number of clinics that are taking appointments and also walk-ins. We welcome them. Visit our website at oaklandcountyvaccine.com to find a vaccine clinic that works best for you. Our website also has the contact information of two partner providers who are vaccinated homebound residents. Oakland County residents who are homebound can contact either provider directly to make their vaccine appointment. Today, we celebrate School Nurses Day. School nurses have played a critical role in helping schools prevent the spread of COVID-19 in Oakland County. Today, I have two of our nurses, Paula Russell and Anna Whitaker, to talk to us about the importance of school nursing. The Oakland Together School Nurse Initiative was created to provide students, parents, teachers, and staff the confidence to return to school safely in the fall of 2020. With the support of the Board of Commissioners, Oakland County Health Division hired 68 nurses to help implement best practices for, for, for preventing the spread of COVID-19. Nurses met with districts to update them on COVID-19 activity in the community, provided prevention strategies for high-risk children, and connected parents to additional resources. They also assisted school districts in creating and implementing health screening protocols and to identify and create sick isolation rooms. Nurses created educational messages on the importance of prevention and staying home when sick. Paula, what are some of the life scenarios uh, that our school nurses experienced in the past year? Okay. Um, hello, I'm Paula. These school nurses have been important for, have played an important role in school environment because each school has its own unique culture and needs. Although we were able to plan and imagine some of the scenarios that the nurses would face advising schools, something always unique would come up. As with any challenging situation, communication is key. Our nurses were able to provide the latest guidance to schools to mitigate the con and control the COVID-19 infection rate in schools. Each nurse met with administration and staff. They walked every campus and every district. They attended parent and staff Zoom meetings. They created weekly newsletters. They trained staff in health education matters and answered endless telephone calls and emails. As vaccine was available to um, health educators and staff, the nurses um, assisted the, the educational staff to um, sign up for vaccines in our multiple Oakland County vaccine clinics. Thanks for sharing those stories, Paula. It really speaks to the impact. Um, Governor Whitmer issued a proclamation for the, uh, for the state of Michigan to officially recognize today, May 12th, as School Nurse Day. Now we have talked about the School Nurse Initiative, specifically uh, during COVID, but Anna, can you talk to us a little bit about the broader view of school nursing and why it's important? School nursing is so important. Um, our COVID nurses just went above and beyond to help uh, keep our children and our community safe um, and school nurses are that's just a little piece of what school nursing uh, school nurses do um, one of the main jobs of school nurses is care coordination for all those students with um, health conditions or emergencies that arise in school they really are the ones that um, create those uh, emergency care plans um, and make sure those kids with health conditions are um, safe and ready to learn Thank you to all of the school nurses who helped and are contributing to the helping schools navigate the learning environment during COVID-19 and beyond. 
It's been a challenging time, but we are so proud of the work that you're doing in creating a safe environment for students. Thanks for joining us this week. And always, please continue to wash your hands frequently, wear a mask and social distance to help prevent COVID-19. One by one, as our residents get vaccinated, we are closer to ending this pandemic. Thank you for listening and have a great week.